Agriculture is one of the most important sectors of the economy, which provides food to the population of the planet. Until recently, it was the most labor-intensive industry, employing about 1.5 billion people. The number of people employed in agriculture made up 44% of the world population. And within just 30 years, this number decreased to 27%. This became possible thanks to the active use of AI and robots at all stages, from sowing seeds to harvesting. All these processes occur without human intervention. About 40% of annual cost of a farm are wages and contract labor expenses for cultivation and harvesting. Already now, Wish Farms Company has announced an introduction of a harvester for picking strawberries made by Harvest Crew Robotics. The robot can harvest eight acres of land in one day and replace 30 workers. We see that in open air farming, machines already take on most of the work. But what will humans do? In animal husbandry, a big step has also been taken towards automating processes and using AI automation of such processes as caring, feeding, and receipt of livestock. Products is no longer the future, but the reality of today. For example, Chinese IT giant Alibaba having teamed up with livestock companies Sichuan, Teku Group, and Nikon Group invested millions of yuans in creating an artificial intelligence system capable of keeping records of every individual pig, including its breed, age and days, diet, weight and movement. In the U.S., 80 acres farms have built a farm that doesn't need either sun or soil or favorable weather. There is no room for pesticides there because everything is indoors and monitored 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. At this farm, hard work is performed by robots. According to the network owners, productivity has been increased 300 times compared to a conventional farm. Smart greenhouses minimize human involvement and allow for a remote management of the growth of vegetable and fruit crops. Such systems are successfully applied in aquaponics and aeroponics. The advantage of such greenhouses is that they can be built anywhere in the world, operate 24 hours a day, and yield harvest all year round. Their benefits are obvious. It is high productivity at low cost. We have given only a few examples of what is now being implemented across the planet, and the pace is only increasing. Very soon, people in this sector will not be needed at all. In this regard, we can ask a question. What should one and a half billion people do, those who are involved in agriculture today?